Hey guys, Wayne Will here. And Justin Myrie with CNB Operations. Today we're just going to give you a quick update on nozzles for CN Spray Ultimate and Premium for the 2024 growing season. Starting off over here on the right side, we've got our ultra low drift nozzles. So we've been running these for years. Right? We've been running these mostly in your straight down configuration, right? more, than, more so than your 40 degree incline cap. We'll discuss that here in a second. We've got our low drift max nozzles uh, as well. You'll notice some commonality between these incline caps, right? Uh, and then we've got just your average old 3D nozzles here as well. Right? So those are a pretty common and pretty popular option there as well. Um, we're probably seeing uh, most of our guys running Sea and Spray Ultimate in the field all the way from um, central southern Minnesota down into Iowa over into South Dakota are all going to be running a variation of these three nozzles right now. Uh, there are a set of, of other approved nozzles as well. There's, uh, we've got as approved this year we've got a new TSL 80 or targeted spray low drift uh, 80 degree nozzle. You'll see less overlap with that one because you're going to have a narrower fan angle than you would say on an LDM or a ULD uh, or even a 3D type nozzle, right? So what would be an advantage to having a narrower fan angle? Narrower fan angle is just going to mean it's uh, basically that nozzle can hit a lot less fewer weeds so it's going to be more targeted for turning on those specific nozzles so you'll see less overlap versus something that's got a wide fan angle is going to be touching more weeds, right? So we might see four, five, six or, or more nozzles kicking on to, to hit a targeted weed just because of that wide pattern. Yeah. Uh, another one of our approved nozzles, again, is going to have another narrower fan angle. is going to be an extended range 80, right? So not as popular as, as these options here. I'd say these are the most popular, but those are, that's another one, uh, as well as um, they're 3Ds, obviously, and then we, on the other side of things, not necessarily John Deere nozzles, we've got a few uh, that are approved for C and spray type applications, uh, starting off with the AgriTop Spot Fan, or the SF40, and then we've also got the T-Jet VisiFlow Flat Spray, or the short, shortly labeled TP65 uh, type nozzle, as well as the T-Jet Air Induction Flat Spray, so the AI80. And then uh, we've got our T-Jet drift guards as well. Right? And then finally, uh, from T-Jet, there's an air-inducted uh, XR flat fan spray. So there's an AI XR 110. And we can get those in various sizes. Uh, we do have to play within the bounds of target pressure and target rate and ground speed. Right? So this is, this is a conventional type application yep. when it comes to sea and spray or spot spraying. Right? Uh, so what do we need to do nozzle size wise? The big thing is we're trying to size to be in 30 to 50 PSI range when we're operating. Um, and what we've been seeing from last year too, our mile per hour went up right for seeing spray ultimate to run a little faster so we can get a little bit more done. So guys that ran last year might need to be sizing up on nozzles and we've even been just seeing uh, this spring guys varying on spot spray rates that some are maybe running a little oversized on nozzles and we need to to back those down. So kind of what we've been seeing is uh, 04 tip would be good for a guy that's going to do 10 to 12 gallon an acre work and then bump up to an 05 if you're going to do 15 gallon an acre and up and, and that might vary on product. And, if you're getting to 20, 25 gallons, right. right? So absolutely, yeah. So there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, there's not a huge list of approved nozzles for sea and spray, so it's not super complex that way. Another thing to consider too is if you're spraying cross road travel, what do we need to do yep. there? Cross road travel, narrow road beans are going to have to have a 100 degree fan pattern or wider. Um, or we want to be a little more aggressive in our, our coverage out there to make sure that we're not losing weeds or missing weeds because of occlusion there from the camera. Uh, for sure. Going across the rows. So. Absolutely, yeah. So there's something to consider there too. If you're doing cross rows, definitely get a wider fan angle. You're going to see a little less savings, but you're going to definitely uh, have better coverage and better efficacy uh, with your targeted spray applications. Another thing to touch on would be ground speed though, right? So um, that will help you determine what size nozzles as well, right? So if you're going to go anywhere from 12 to 15 mile an hour being the speed limit for sea and spray ultimate, all the way down to 12 miles an hour being the speed limit for CNC Premium to operate, yep. right? So uh, some things there as well. And then, yeah, play within the bounds of your conventional spray, um, nozzle selection resources, and uh, should be able to get you the right nozzle. Yep. So. We'll aim to have some updates here on coverage and whatnot based off of these and, and settings and whatnot, and we'll continue to share some of that stuff throughout the growing season here and spring season. 
uh, for that matter, and just uh, make sure we're keeping you guys updated on that as well. Absolutely. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, this, Wayne. Uh, wraps it up for another nozzle installation here.